So someone asked me today how accurate the Sony vape meter is. Well, let's just check here on the LCR um, model 886, which is, you know, if you weren't aware, it goes for right around $1,200 for this highly calibrated device. Let's DCR. Let's check the lead resistance first. So we're looking at point, point zero three three. Point zero three three. All right. Now let's check the measurement on this. Just resistors built up. Five ten connectors, basically replicating in a meter. Looking at point one zero eight. So that's this actual reading here would equate to point seven five. Right. Now let's check it on the semi vaping voltmeter or ohm voltmeter. This is the it's not going to focus too well. There we go. This is definitely our board. Let's see what we get here. Point zero eight. Step into point zero nine. So we'll, we'll call it a conservative point zero, uh, point zero eight, eight. So then we're, for all purposes, we're looking at a variance of point zero one three. Did the same test on two other known ohm meters, and you know, the, the, this isn't the purpose of this video, but needless to say, those uh, readings weren't too uh, favorable. Uh, first ohm meter box read out at 0.95, and the second one read at 0.98. So, a little, little higher out of. Uh, you know, tolerance, kind of, you know, but in any event, that's the uh, data results from the Sunny Vaping Home Meter.